In this video, we're going to talk about the basic properties of pixel-based digital images. These are really important to know about since they're one of the main ways that computers represent visual imagery. Devices like digital scanners, cameras, screens, and software like Photoshop all deal with pixel-based images. These are also called bitmap images or raster images, but they're all referring to the same thing. That is, images defined by grids of pixels. Each pixel is simply a small colored square. If we look at an example pixel-based image like we see on the right here and zoomed in really close, we'd be able to see the grid of individual pixels. The way that the computer remembers each pixel's color is by assigning it a number or a series of numbers. So in this case, if we wanted to look at this individual pixel, I can see that it has a red, a green, and a blue value, which combine to make up its color. Pixel-based images have an important property called resolution. Resolution is the number of pixels in an image within a given size. To help us see how resolution behaves, I've got an example here on the right. Let's pretend that we're at maybe a national park and we're in front of this beautiful overlook, so we want to take some pictures. But all we have is this really old, really low resolution digital camera. I'm going to click the shutter here and you can see that we've got our really small six pixel by four pixel image that barely even looks like the scene in front of the camera. That's just because we don't have enough resolution to capture all of the detail there. So maybe I could adjust the resolution on the camera and increase it and click the shutter again. And I can see that I'm getting a little more detail, but it's still pretty chunky. So I'll keep repeating that process of upping the resolution, snapping a new picture, and you can see I'm getting more pixels and more detail at each step. So simply put, as resolution increases, we're getting more pixels, which gives us the potential to capture more detail. It's also requiring the computer or the camera to keep track of more color information, which can lead to bigger file sizes. In terms of measuring resolution, there's a few different ways that we can do it. We can do a very straightforward image width by image height in pixels. As you can see here, I've got all of the pixel dimensions of those example images that we just looked at. So that way is very straightforward. We could also talk about resolution in terms of pixels per inch or PPI. And that one is slightly more complex in that it's always tied to the physical size of the image. PPI becomes really important when we're doing something like printing, where we're sending out a digital image into reality, or doing the opposite by scanning something into the computer. If you wanted to calculate pixels per inch for this image, you'd first need physical dimensions. Let's pretend that I want to print this out at 10 inches high by 14 inches across. In that case, the image would be 100 pixels per inch, since we're dividing our 1400 pixels across by 14 inches, giving us 100 PPI. 100 PPI is a relatively low resolution, and it's closer to the range of what you'd want for an image that will only exist on screen. Those are generally around 72 to 100 PPI. We'd likely see some pixelation if we printed this image at 10 by 14, since printing requires higher resolution to look clear. For printing, you'll generally want a range of about 2 to 300 PPI. And we could achieve that here simply by printing a smaller image. You can see that if we print at 4 inches wide by 3 inches tall, we'd get a resolution of 350 PPI, which will make sure our image prints clearly without pixelation. We could also talk about resolution in megapixels, or MP for short. One megapixel represents about 1 million pixels. To figure out an image's resolution in megapixels, first, we need to calculate its total quantity of pixels. And we do that by multiplying the width by the height. In this case, 1400 times 1025 gives us 1,435,000 total pixels. Then we take that total pixel count and divide it by 1 million, which gives us the resolution in megapixels. So our image here is about 1.4 megapixels. So that's an overview of some of the basic properties of pixel-based digital images.